from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. This morning on today's travel, unusual getaways for Christmas week. If you're looking to shake things up this year and hit the road with your family, there are some deep discounts still to be had, but you better hurry. Pauline Fromer is the creator of Pauline Fromer Guidebooks, and she joins us now. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning. So here's the thing. You say better hurry up. I'm surprised mm -hmm. there are any deals actually left. There are some deals. You're going to spend less money in January or this week, but for Christmas, there are still a couple of opportunities left. And one of them <coughs> for specifically is in Mexico, specifically in Cancun. And yeah. there's a reason for that, why there's such great deals right now for this particular week of Christmas in Cancun. Why? Well, if you look at the entire Caribbean, we've seen a lot of airline cuts to the Caribbean islands, not so much to Cancun. And let's face it, all of Mexico has an image problem right now. They've seen a sharp drop in their tourism thanks to the drug war, thanks to uh, swine flu. Uh, so not not as many people are going, even though Cancun has been totally safe for tourists. It's kind of like saying, don't go to New York City because there have been murders in Detroit. Mm. Uh, really, the locus of the drug violence is very far from Cancun. So if you want to spend a week on the beach over Christmas or even New Year's, you're going to spend about $838 through such discounters as Vacation Travel Mart, Book It, Expedia.com. You want to look for an air hotel package. There are some very good deals in particular at the Grand Oasis Cancun which is an all-inclusive resort so once you pay you don't have to pay again. The 800 and something dollars is that for one person? That's for one person but it includes airfare from Miami. If you're going from other places say Chicago probably two hundred dollars more, New York maybe three hundred and fifty dollars more and so on. Okay what about cruises? That's an interesting idea. I never would have thought about taking a cruise on Christmas week. Well think about it. The Oasis of the Seas debuted this week. It's it's thrown onto the market 6,000 more cabins. There are less people traveling already. The truth is there are just too many cabins to fill. This is particularly true if you look at the less known cruises, like Costa Cruise Lines. You can go on a week-long cruise over Christmas for as little as $599. Mm. That's a tremendous price because, again, this is a pretty much an all-inclusive vacation. Uh, you'll also see good prices on Royal Caribbean, on Norwegian cruise lines. Again, about $80 to $100 a day for these last-minute discounts for the cabins they haven't been, been able to fill. This is more for Christmas than New Year's, mm -hmm. though. Okay, and, and on your list, maybe surprisingly, you've got Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You might shock your family by going to Las Vegas, but if you go Christmas week, there are a heck of a lot of rooms, and the city is really suffering. Again, there are too many rooms to fill in Las Vegas. Is that because of the holiday or just because of the economy? Well, it's partially the economy. It's partially the fact that City Center opened this week. Again, 6,000 more beds dumped on the market, and it's a market that's already saturated. So what kind of price are you looking at there? Well, if you're willing to stay off the Strip, say at Palace Station, you're going to pay $22 a night. For, if, for a hotel room? For a hotel room. If you want to stay on the Strip, uh, you could stay at Circus Circus for about $28 a night. If you want something a little are more... Are these nice rooms? These are fine rooms. I stayed at Circus Circus last time I was there. The rooms have been recently renovated. They're very nice. Uh, say you want something more upscale, you could stay at Caesars Palace for $112. A year ago, that would have been $100 more. The truth is there are just too many rooms to fill in Vegas, mm. right? now. Mm, okay, so it's serious there. And okay, yeah. Also, the last on your list, you've got national parks, yes. and there are lots to choose from. There are. There are national parks in every one of the 50 states. So whenever you're looking for an affordable vacation, look at the national parks. You can drive to them. It costs $25 for your entire car load to get in, and there are some incredible places. For example, for Christmas, how about Joshua Tree National Park? I love park. that park. Oh, it's an incredible park with incredible opportunities for rock climbing, gorgeous trails to hike. The Joshua tree itself, which is this uh, type of, um, uh, it's not a cactus, it's not a tree. Segura. It's actually, it's a segura, it's in the lily family and it's absolutely beautiful. Or how about Death Valley? Now that's something to go to for New Year's Eve. It really is a place that looks like 
It must have looked like when the world began. What a way to start the new year. The prices, by the way, you name are in effect for Christmas week. They may actually change after uh, into the new year. I oh, would absolutely. Guess. So. January will go down. Okay. All right. Even better. Pauline <laughs> Frommer, thank you so much this morning for some good advice. Thank you. And coming up, getting crafty, we're going to be making some holiday gifts for less than $10.